G'day folks, thanks for coming back and watching. Welcome to the Way Showers Walkabout. And I'm at Aquamana. Come and join me and Henrietta Ajeti as we head out of Accra to Keta for a day of fun, tasty snacks and delicious Zoe. So grab yourself a drink. It's not a very long video, but uh, grab yourself a drink. I've got my favorite uh, Sobolo here and sit back and have a laugh at my expense. Uh, be reminded of home and Thanks for all those comments, likes, and subscribing for all those that have done it already, I'm blown away and amazed. So please enjoy on me, like I say, get yourself a tea, some Milo or Milo, depending on where you're from to pronounce it, and sit back and watch and enjoy. This is for all the love I got in Ghana and continue to get from everybody. So love it and continue. Thanks very much. First step, we boarded the Trotro at Mokala Market. This is the biggest marketplace which stands at the heart of urban Ghanaian life. The market is the main wholesale and retail marketplace in Accra, one of the nation's most important social and cultural institutions. Mokala Market is congested with goods, people, scents and sounds, it's hustle and bustle, there's pushing and shoving and fights and laughing, you name it, I've seen it all in Mokala. It's the best place to absorb the atmosphere of a West African market. After a few minutes of queuing, or what felt more like an hour sitting in the back of our trotro sweating away, we were up in the traffic and on our way finally. The distance from Accra to Keta is about 173 kilometers. And I have Henrietta Ajeti, a great tour guide who's teaching me how to eat Zoe, a famous airway snack made of peanuts and maize, with some hot pepper and sugar too. It's definitely a filling snack. The journey is quite long, it took us about four hours to get from Accra to Keta, but I'm already amazed and I was excited at the landscape flashing before my eyes. Ghana is indeed a beautiful country and this is how Ghana will catch you.
biggest resort. sort of high demand resort. And what happened to Very. it? And now it's no more. It's, it's no longer safe. I lent somebody fell and died or something. Oh. This is Keta Resort, former resort, which has kind of fallen into ruins and the water has really come up. Sort of taken out these uh, entryways. Important trading post between the 14th and the late 20th centuries, the town attracted the interest of the Danish because they felt they could establish a base here without interference from rival European nations. The Keta community has quite a few tourist attractions which one can enjoy whilst in town, that being Aborigines Beach Resort. <laughs> Keta Lagoon Rest Stop, Keta Lagoon Resort, Fort Prinzenstein, Keta. and Goba Beach. Keta Lagoon is the largest lagoon in Ghana with a water area of 300 square kilometres. This is located in the larger wetlands protected area of approximately 1200 square kilometres. It's the stopping point for a large number of migratory birds and also provides a breeding ground for sea turtles. The Keta Lagoon is known for its immense quantity of salt. Thanks everyone for watching. Thanks for any new subbies that decided to click that button and like and comment. I'm looking forward to all the comments, the laughs and the continued love from Ghanaians and anyone else who wants to enjoy as I enjoy Ghana. Uh, stay tuned. I'm going to put out another video of the uh, rest of that trip with Henrietta. She took some amazing drone footage and drone skills that she has. And if you ever need a tour guide in Ghana, Henrietta is your girl. She's amazing. She does an awesome job and a wonderful host for Ghana. Thanks for the, just for the outpouring of love that I've got. So hopefully you finished your drinks. I've topped up my Sobolo and I'll uh, sit back and just smile and see what else I can come up with for, to give Ghanaians and anyone else enjoying my ride and my adventure. Special thanks to mum for, uh, this is actually a quilt that my mother made and also the cushion. She got this pattern for a cushion from a lady in South Africa on how to use the leftovers of a fabric. She bought this for me in 2020. Just a quick little correction I had to say about uh, mum buying me this. Mum bought the fabric in Australia from I believe the Australian, African Australian Fabric Company. I could be wrong, I'll put that in the description. And she made this from the fabric pack that she got. Let's just say that she wasn't too happy when I didn't come back with any fabric for her. So another reason why I'm going back to Ghana, because I owe her fabric. So guess you'll know where I'll be 
If you ever want to look for me on my walkabout, there's a good chance you'll find me with fabric. Uh, and again, love another one of my shirts. This is a Woodin special. So thanks to Woodin and their designs. Love their shop and clearly spent a lot of money there too. When I was supposed to go to Ghana and we all knew what happened then when the uh, pandemic decided to blow up and cancel all kinds of trips. So when 2021 came around, I'd done my research and my homework and I was definitely going to Ghana in 2021. This is all the after effects of that trip and it's still continuing and I hope to get back to Ghana as soon as possible. Working on that, trying to see if I can find work to work remotely. You'll all find out for sure once I'm back in Ghana because there'll be big smiles. I'm not sure where I'll end up, whether I'll be in Elmina and pursuing a fanti life or if I head to the Volta region to pursue an airway life. So I'll be back practicing my and relearning my airway, my fanti words, and also my chui and trying to pick up some ga at the same time. So there is so much more joy that it needs to happen and more to come from Ghana. And then hopefully I can explore further from there. I need to probably pick up some French because we'll probably head to Cote d'Ivoire or Togo. So West Africa is definitely a beautiful part of the world. I was meant to get to Liberia and I want to go there for sure. I have people there that I want to see and I need to make that happen. So stay tuned. There's more coming. I hope you enjoy it. Keep the, uh, the love coming. I'm going to be trying to keep it coming to you. Thanks once again. This is Atta Kwamana, or as others call me, Uncle Atto, signing out. Ciao. <laughs>